So with new mythics, new and better prize pools for competitive, new medallions, new guns and new location makes me wonder how this season of Fortnite ranked will pan out. So first of all, there's cars in ranked endgame now. So in this clip, three people jumped to my car. So I suppose this must be the new meta for zero build. Um, I did think I was going to get done for teaming. I thought, should I jump out the car or should I keep driving? I eventually did just use the launch pad to get away. But it's just another problem for people to get used to cars and then when you actually play tournaments there's no cars it's really counterintuitive for people who actually want to earn money in cash cups you know what i mean because why get used to fucking driving a car when you can't use it stupid shit so secondly i've seen they've put a few new guns in the game they've put the scar back in the game or the combat ar they've got a new shotgun i don't really like it they've added flow breeze back in the game that's definitely a thumbs up and there's this new duo akimbo smg which i actually adore for close encounters is actually banging so they've added a few mythics an iron man type mythic where you shoot rockets out the left and you shoot just machine gun bullets out the right that's not too bad there's one what's literally aimbot which you attach to your back you can get a jetpack so the aimbot and jetpack together are fucking mental and then you get doctor doom gloves where you shoot projectiles out the left and you do out the right but it's less impactful the issue is these things shouldn't be in ranked rank should necessarily it should be kind of bare bones i think again these aren't going to be in tournaments so the people and the pros shouldn't be getting used to this and then do you know what i mean i took out the games for the tournament so another l for me i think i know you lot will agree let me obviously let me know for the medallions there's three new medallions the first one is siphon which is when you are low on health and you damage a player and kill them you take their health or a certain amount of it the second one is basically wall hack so you can see where enemy players are a beacon can will go off every so often and it will let you know where players are if they are in a vicinity near you and then the third one is when you crouch you become invisible or quite translucent to the point where people can't see you but when you go to attack people or go to run you can be seen again in my opinion that's quite cool and then for the prize pool it seems to have gone up actually giving players more of an incentive to play or actually be serious so for the duo cup it turns out the first place team can get 10,000 now I think second place is about 3k but that's really going to get people in the spirits to play ranked so um if you enjoyed this and want to see more let me know respect